Hey there, Paolo. Uh, nice job writing more of these essays for your IELTS preparation. Let's get right into this so we can see what you wrote. Okay, you've got the waste hauler truck trips. So let's see what you had to say. The bar chart provides information about the number of trips done by a waste hauling truck divided in two types of truck, hauler A and hauler B, from July 2014 to September 2014. Okay. Um... Well, first of all, it's um, it's not a waste hauling truck. It should have been two uh, done by two waste hauling trucks, and then comma hauler A and hauler B. All right, um, that would have been better. And then you have to capitalize the J in July and the S in September. All right, and other than that, it's fine. Overall, it can be clearly seen that the highest trip. Okay, not the highest trip, but the most trips, because these are numbers of trips, and it says so right here, number of trips. So that's the word you want to use. Overall, it can be seen that the high, uh, that the most trips or the highest number of trips, plural, was made by Holler B in August. Careful with your spelling, 2014. Uh, and here you needed something else. You could have said while, in contrast, the least trips as here again was made in uh, were made the least trips were made in september of the same year by holler a okay in uh in addition the numbers of trips made by holler b was higher than the numbers of trips well actually this should be the number of trips made by holler b was higher than those of holler a um, in specific, usually we say specifically from August to September in the same year. Okay, fine. Firstly, it can be said that trips by Holler A and Holler B fluctuated during the three months shown. In fact, Holler A made about 100 trips in July. Then, let's see, Holler A, okay, yeah, made uh, 100 trips in July, then it slightly rose to 118 trips, yeah. Uh, done in August. Again, careful with your spelling of August. Don't forget to capitalize it. Uh, finally, in September 2014, there was a dramatic decrease by Holler A at around 82. All right, that's fine. Secondly, the truck Holler B made only approximately 90 trips in July. Moreover, there was a rapid increase, no D here, by Holler B in August at around, okay, not at, but it increased to 150, okay? So this should be to about 150. And then not for last, but lastly, in September 2014, the number, singular, of trips made by Holler B gradually fell to 100. Let's see, did you have anything else to say about this after that? Okay, well, you covered all the points, and uh, that's fine, because, you know, there's not really a lot to deal with here anyway. I mean, there's only six little pieces of information, so you covered them uh, appropriately. Your grammar needs a little work um, with some of these uh, prepositions and uh, so forth, so um, definitely add those to your error correction list. All right, so let's move on to uh, the next one. Okay, so now let's move on to your task two. The topic is, uh, nowadays most green energy is becoming ever more pre prevalent in both developed and developing countries. Some argue they greatly, greatly reduce costs and are better for the environment. Others believe they are a serious threat to energy security. Okay, you have to discuss both views and give your opinion. So let's see what you had to say about this. Uh, in our modern society, advanced and developing nations are growing the use of green energy. Well, not really. That's not the right word here. Are increasing the use of green energy would be better. It is argued that introducing green energy uh, in our daily lives will decrease, without a D, cost and help to gain a better environment. On the other hand, many people believe that new types of energy will harm the energy security. Well, no the here. You don't need the the. I strongly believe that every country with a Y, not IES, should invest more in green energy through new research, no ING, and new technology for living in a better world. Okay, fine. Firstly, nowadays, using green energy will help to reduce the cost of electricity and decrease the climate change. In fact, the most common alternative green energy used are solar panels. For example, 
by using these solar panels, which is a new technology to produce electricity by soaking up ultraviolet sun rays. Um, all right, you're missing a verb here, okay? Um, so, or, or you needed to change something. So you could have said here, for example, using these solar powers, uh, solar panel, sorry, which is a new technology, uh, comma, electricity can be produced by soaking up ultraviolet sun rays. All right, that's how you need to do it. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense. Um, okay, thanks to these technological devices, um, they will consume natural energy and consequently will reduce costs of electricity. Thus, families will pay a cheaper bill of electri a cheaper electricity bill. That's expression, and gain more money for other expenses. In addition, implementing green energy will pollute our environment less. Okay, this goes at the end of the sentence here. Um, people are more aware that climate change is an important issue to solve for this reason, and for this reason, or so for this reason. You need some sort of a linker. New types of green energy, such as solar panels, reverse this, and nuclear energy are helpful to reduce the pollution around the world. Okay, fine, great. Um, that's pretty good. Just some of the grammar is, um, you know, has some issues, but other than that, it's fine. On the other hand, it is believed that every type, singular here, of green energy will have more harmful effects. In fact, developing new places for nuclear energy in every country, no IES, just why, will be dangerous if something went wrong. For example, it happened that nuclear energy, no, a nuclear plant had an explosion inside of the central something. I don't know what you want to say. The central reactor, perhaps? After this fact, all nuclear energy devastated, watch your spelling here, the city and killed thousands of people. In addition, the majority of people, careful, were forced to move out of their, out, uh, no, move out of their homes, houses, to another city. Uh, in other words, certain types of energy, green energy, all right, not energy green, could be dangerous and not safe for our people. Okay, um, in conclusion, even though many people uh, do not agree about using green energy. I tend to think that nowadays we are living in a society where green energy has an important role for our lives. I'm looking forward to have a better and safe environment by using every type, no S here, of green energy. Okay. Um, let me think. All right, now here's what I think. Um, because you are in favor of green energy, this paragraph, which also talked about the the pros of green energy it should have come second, all right? So it should have come down here. And then this paragraph where you talked about the dangers of nuclear energy, this should have come first because we always talk about the side that we don't agree with. We talk about the side that we don't support first and then we leave the side that we do support um, to come later, to come second, okay? Um, so nice job with these. Um, some grammar issues that I really want you to work on. So now you need to uh, correct these essays. You need to um, add the errors to your error correction list and then send everything back to us in the next day with your new essays. All right. So with that, um, that's the end of this video correction and I will be looking forward to seeing more of your essays, Paolo.